Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle, my style. And today I have a video that I think you will be highly interested in. If you are like me, you have been watching tons of YouTube videos lately on people going out searching for restoration hardware dupes. Well, if you're like me, you have jumped on to the restoration hardware bandwagon. I'm not saying I like everything that I've seen from restoration hardware, just a few things. So there are some things that I am on the hunt for that I would like to put into my home to give it a modern, more sophisticated feel, if you would say. So I have seen people go out and find the torso statue. That is one thing I would love to find and bring into my home, but I don't know that I will find it, but we are going to hunt for it. So hopefully we can find it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. But today I am taking you shopping with me and we're going to an unconventional place to look for restoration hardware dupes. Unconventional. So we are going to make a couple of stops. We are going to stop at the at home store and the Goodwill. Yes, we are going to go search for restoration hardware dupes at the Goodwill. Will we be successful? I don't know. I think you need to stay tuned until the end. I think you will be excited and shocked. store has some really nice baskets that could be dupes for the restoration hardware baskets and you can get them for a lot less money. They have various size and shapes of baskets. They have baskets that can fit anyone's budget and it will give you the same look 
as restoration hardware. So these baskets make perfect restoration hardware dupes. These vases remind me of the ones you would see at Restoration Hardware. All they need is a little DIY and you could have your Restoration Hardware dupe. So I found this piece at Goodwill and I thought it was a good Restoration Hardware dupe. Yeah, it's green. Yes, it's old, but look at the detail. It looks like something that you would see on the Restoration Hardware website. So just because it is green in color, has a chip here, it doesn't mean we cannot work a little magic and turn it into Restoration Hardware-esque, as I like to say. So this was only $3.99. Yes, $3.99. It is quite heavy. It has this iron detail, which we could take off if we wanted to, but I kind of like it. So I am going to leave it. So that is one of the items that we picked up from Goodwill. And I will put up a photo here and as you can see, it has the same sort of bones as the restoration hardware piece that we are trying to dupe. Up these two vases at the at home store. Oh, so heavy. It was $24.99. And it was on clearance or half off. So I paid $12.50 for it. And it is cement. It is very, very heavy and I love the texture absolutely love it um, this little black vase I picked it up earlier this year um, when home goods first opened and it had gold at the top and I wasn't really feeling that so I just added some black acrylic paint it gives it like a glossy finish at the top and then it goes into a matte finish which I love so these are my restoration hardware dupes. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you this. I picked this up at Home Goods. Um, I think it was in one of my community posts where I was decorating this console. Um, but anyway, I picked this up and it was $19.99. I picked that up last week and I also think it is a restoration hardware yes. So here is one of the items that I picked up. I picked up this vase from Kroger and when I picked it up, it was on clearance for 75% off. Now, I always tell you guys to not sleep on Kroger. This vessel was $10. It was a bronzy gold color when I picked it up. The band at the top was a faux brown leather. I did not like that look, but I did like the shape of the vessel. So I brought it home and I painted it black. And you can see I left some streaks to give it kind of a, I don't know, a modern clay, um, what am I trying to say? Just a look that would not make it look so uh, brand new as the look that I was going for, textured. I wanted to give it a textured look. So um, I painted it black with some chalk paint and I put in these faux olive branches that I picked up from Amazon. And I absolutely love this, love this look. look. It is giving me restoration hardware vibes. I told you guys I am turning toward fall. Even though we are still in summer, my mind is turning toward fall and I have started to do some fall decorating. So I wanna keep my home modern and simple. And I thought this look is perfect. Now, as I said, the vase was $10. I used chalk paint and the floral stems, the olive branches were um, 
$20 total with tax from Amazon. I will leave a link for those down below in case you may be interested. But this is giving me restoration hardware vibes. I will put up a photo here and you can see how much their piece cost. And we have achieved our look for $28. So not a bad deal and I absolutely love All it. All right, guys. So the other thing that is giving me restoration hardware vibes is this horse statue. This sculpture I picked up in the garden section of the at-home store and he was $54.99. I love the texture that he is giving and I just love the overall feel. He is giving me he is giving me serious restoration hardware vibes. Um I know he is not exactly like the restoration horse head sculpture on their site. I will put up a photo here. The base is different. However, the head and the mane are exact replicas of the restoration hardware piece. And that is why this is giving me restoration hardware vibes. And you can see ours cost $55. And the restoration hardware piece is a lot more money. So it is giving us the same look, but for a lot less. All right, friends. So those were the items that I picked up that I thought were great, budget-friendly restoration hardware dupes. And I hope you agree. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube know that you like my channel content and it will alert them to push it out to more people. If you like and subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost anything. So please, if you love the video and it has given you some inspiration, please like and subscribe. So I hope, like I said, you have enjoyed this Think Outside the Box for Restoration Hardware Dupes. Again, you can find so many budget-friendly things at the Goodwill and even while shopping, even in the clearance section. You just have to keep an open mind. You might look at them at first and say, mm, no, that's not really it, but with a little DIY and a little elbow grease, you can make it into that restoration hardware dupe and it will cost you a whole lot less money. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I love everything that I picked up and I hope you do as well. Leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite thing that I picked up? Um, what did you like least? I hope you didn't like anything least, but if you did, I'd love to know that too. And I'd love to know your thoughts on some of the things I showed you. And if you will think about going to the Goodwill and doing some DIYing for restoration hardware dupes of your own. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day. And remember, always strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.